right guys, welcome back to another video. It is May 28th. So we're just about done with May. It was actually a pretty crappy May in my opinion. There just wasn't a lot of rain. It was a, it was a dry spring. So I would say this is probably the driest spring that we've had in at least five years since I started fly fishing. So I think this is only like my fourth time out just because I, uh, I had a lot of time off of work there. I took like that whole week and a half off, but I just didn't do much fishing because it was just too hot and everything was just low and clear. I saw a lot of guys that I follow on Instagram though and uh, stuff, they were catching fish. It's just, when, it's, when it gets hot out like that, I either only like to go in the morning or uh, just not go at all. But even some of the creeks that I've been fishing all the way through spring and winter, a few of them are actually already getting near those temps where you just, you know, you don't want to bother the fish anymore. So, but we're out here, uh, it's a nice cool day. The water is uh, off color. And I think last video we fished the section two, but I fished a few times since then, just uh, didn't make videos or didn't get enough uh, footage for a video. But we're back in that same section as last video. And uh, today I'm throwing streamers and it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful streamer day, just overcast. The, the water is off color, finally got some rain here. And I think it's about the same flow though. So uh, stay tuned, let's go ahead and get into the fishing. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video after you watch. And let's go ahead and get into the fishing. All right, guys, hooked up with a big brownie here. Took it immediately. Big colored up male. Yes, let's go. Oh my God, I threw it right over in there and he immediately cooked it. That is a nice fish. All right, guys, we just got this big brownie. This is definitely probably like a 20 incher. I'd say he's just right on the 20 inch mark. I've probably made, I would say just about 30 casts and I've probably only been fishing for like 10 minutes. And we already had this guy take, I've nymphed that spot plenty of times and never caught anything. I knew he was in there. All right, so yeah, like I said, I've nymphed this a few times. You guys have seen me nymph this spot, but I had a feeling over by that pillar it just looks like a good spot for a big fish to hang out. And uh, there's a log jam here behind me as well. So I figured he either lives in there or over there. And he kind of just probably pushes out into here when, uh, when the opportunity is right. First time using streamers in a little while, probably since back in the winter. I was on a nymph kick for a while. And now I decided we got some muddy water not completely muddy I know it looks muddy but it's actually probably about uh, a foot actually it's probably about two foot visibility and uh, just decided to throw the streamers see what we can get and not even 10 minutes in and we got a 20 inch brown and a beautiful one so right now I'm using my nine foot six weight TFO clouser this is my streamer rod and it actually felt quite good to fight that fish uh, all my six weight versus my three weight. And then also I'm running 14 pound test for streamers. So I was able to force that fish in pretty, pretty good. That could have been enough to spark my streamer interest again. I just didn't really see a point in using nymphs today because it's just gonna be too hard for them to see it really, I think. And I haven't went big fish hunting in a little while. So I figured we'd do that. But there is, there's, so there's a fish rising over here. Give the streamer a cast over in there, see what happens. Where there's one fish, there's usually a few more fish. There we go. 
Another fish. Looks like a brownie. Not as big as the last one, but decent size. Actually, no, it's a rainbow. <clears throat> might actually be, it might be the same rainbow I caught through here last time. Last time I caught him on the nymph though. It's actually a nice, oh, there he goes. <clears throat> um, that was actually a nice looking rainbow. Very possible that it could have been wild. Cause like I said, I think there are probably just like a few rainbows that are wild scattered throughout this creek. Most of it's wild browns and stockfish, but definitely possible to have some wild, wild rainbows in here. Cause it, it stays pretty cool all year round as well. I think it's right around the same flow as last time I was here, but it's, holy cow, that was a huge rainbow. Huge rainbow. Huge rainbow. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera or not. Please take again. That, dude, that could have been like a 24 inch rainbow thing was massive good colors on him too this is probably one of the best may days it's like i think it's may 29th we're like at the end of may this may has been pretty much a dry super dry may driest may i've i've seen since i started fly fishing but we finally got some rain and it seems like these fish are ready to eat a big meal the reason i'm not fishing too much behind me is because again that's where most fishermen walk through and uh, this place does see some traffic still at this time of year. So I'm not really gonna waste my time back there. And the, and the flow right now, it's not, it's not high enough that it's gonna really push the fish out of their feeding lanes. Like it's not blown out. So they're all hiding, they're like hugging the bank or hiding in like behind boulder seams. Like that brown was actually, I mean, he was in like a little eddy, but he was still like out in the flow. And that rainbow, was in like a, a steady flow, not high, you know, not raging, but it was a steady little flow that he was sitting in. The streamer that I'm using right now is like a little variation of uh, a peanut envy. Got another one. <clears throat> All right. That's our first fish in a little while. Had a few strikes that were just from small fish. All right, there he is. About a 12 incher. That was our first fish in a little bit that we've actually landed. Had a few smaller fish take and that, uh, the last big take was that rainbow that I took out right when it was eating it. Just had another try to take it right there. Basically what I'm doing though is just like if you were fishing from like a, a drift boat or something, just hitting it right along the bank, make, making as big a splash as I can, and then just kind of letting it swing out into the middle, giving it a few jerks with the rod tip. That fish and the few other fish that have tried to take it in here have been about mid-river or over by the bank. I think I might actually throw on something a little heavier because I think this is pretty deep through here. Let's have one look at it here. Not pretty decent size one. Ah, oh, that was him. Missed him. All right, yeah, I'm gonna switch up to a jig head for the rest of this pool, then we'll switch back. I was literally fixing my line. 
and this guy took there's a 20 incher 20 inch 22 I knew as soon as I went to go fix that line something was gonna happen Yes, baby. Ah, that's a monster. Big old female. I just knew it. I had a feeling as soon as I went to go set that, or go fix my line because it was wrapped up around my rod, I knew that jig was going to fall to the bottom. And I just felt it in my bones. All right, guys. This is a beast of a brown. This is probably 22 inches. Big fat female. I honestly don't know. I want to say that's maybe a holdover. Chunky, chunky fish though. Let's get a release on her. All right, so that's her in the net. I'm gonna say she's at least 21, but if I had a guess, I'd say 22. And there she goes, disappear into the darkness. All right, so that was a fun little fight. Like I said, I just had this feeling that as soon as I went to go unwrap the line from around my rod, something bad was going to happen. But at least it turned out good and we were able to land that big female. That's probably one of my bigger fish in a while. Probably, I know I caught that one back late winter, but that big male, but other than that, that's probably one of my bigger fish in probably a few years, just because, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a full-time big fish hunter. I like to chase them here and there. And it's fun to throw streamers every once in a while, like today, when, you know, the nymphs are probably not the hot item. So yeah, that, that one was on the jig. I actually, I think I might keep that jig on just because it's, I, we're getting into some deeper holes up through here. And I, uh, I think that jig will help getting down to the bottom because like I said, I was fixing that line and that jig was definitely, it fell to the bottom. And that's where I think she took it. And again, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I, I want to say it's wild, but you never know. Uh, her spots were a little bit uh, funky, but I have seen some wild fish that have a little bit of funky spotting, but Again, I, I don't want to say that she's fully wild just because this stream is stocked. So it's, it is a good chance that maybe she's just a big holdover. And I'm going to keep the jig on through this, this run here. We're just starting this run. And then there's a nice big, like deep, long run, kind of like that one we just went through. And uh, we're going to keep it on for that as well. And then after that, we kind of get into some more shallow riffles. And at that point, we'll go back to the uh, peanut envy. And there was just a take there. had a rainbow come up here in front of me and take it <clears throat> he didn't he didn't feel it though I'm gonna move it in just a strip it slow in there he is come here buddy I was gonna say, he looked like he wanted it. It looks like a nice bow too. They, I think that one's probably a holdover, maybe like a year or so. His tail's messed up at the end. But he's got nice peck fins and stuff, nice colors on him. And that was on the jig. 
like I said, we're running the jig up through here. And then once we get past this, we'll throw back on the, uh, the peanut envy. It's just not as weighted. So it's better to use if I'm like stripping it through uh, like runs or something. But this right here, I fished this when it was clear. Uh, I believe, I can't tell, I think of his last video. Last video, we fished this same section and it was uh, a lot clearer and lower, I believe. Might have been about the same flow, but it's definitely clearer. I'm starting to get those streamer fingers. I haven't fished streamers in a while, so my, <laughs> my fingers are hurting from stripping line. Yep, there's a take. This looks like a wild brownie. Probably about 14 inches. This actually might be that, I think I did actually catch a wild brownie out of here last time. I just don't know if I got it on film. There he is. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I did film that one, but the GoPro didn't get it or something. He looks exactly like the same fish that I caught out of here last time. All righty. So we got past those deeper holes. This is more of like a flat area. And then up above me is where we missed. We had that decent like 18 inch brown last video hooked on a nymph and I ended up losing him, but I threw the uh, peanut envy back on. Oh, there's a big fish. There is a big fish. Uh, it looks like at least 18, 19. Um, but yeah, we got the peanut envy back on. And uh, we're gonna see what we can do. There we go. Smaller fish, but we'll take it. And there he is, 12 incher. Holy crap. That fish came right out of the water to try to eat that. I think it was a rainbow. There we go. Just like another 12 incher. <clears throat> And there he is. Beautiful little fish. Probably caught that one through here before as well. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap it up here. Fish the same section that we did in the last video, but last video I was nymphing it. On my way here, I was planning to actually just do nymphing, but then when I got here, the water was like perfect streamer conditions. So I decided to give the streamers a whirl because I've actually been having a little bit of like an itch to throw some streamers and hey, worked out great. Got into two nice fish, missed that big rainbow hopefully you guys can see that on film i won't know until i uh, edit the video but you guys will have already seen but uh and then caught you know average size wild brownies and i think one other stocked rainbow so yeah not a bad day at all so i'm definitely glad that i ended up going fishing today because i was actually gonna go in the morning but then i just decided i was too tired to go in the morning and then as i was like uh sitting there in the morning uh, debating whether or not I should go in the evening. I was like kind of on the fence and then I just decided I haven't went in a little bit and we're here at the end of May and there's some water in the stream so I might as well get out and make the best of it while it lasts. So definitely uh, turned out to be a good day. So that's gonna wrap it up here. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video and any suggestions for future videos. And until next time, peace.